Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Civi, and this week I'm going to answer the question, what is the difference between preheat, reheat, heating, and warm up? Although heaters and HVAC systems all heat up the air, they do so for different reasons. And where you put the heating coil depends on why you're warming up the air. So let's start with preheat. When you preheat, you're typically trying to protect the HVAC system from sub-freezing temperature air. So let's draw an air handler. Oh, make an opening for the inlet, an opening for the fan. Draw in a fan real quick. And let's put in a cooling coil. So with preheat, you put the heating coil before the cooling coil. So this way, let's say if you have a 100% outdoor air unit, and in the winter the air gets below freezing. You'll want to warm up that air using this preheat coil so that as the air goes across the cooling coil, you protect it from freezing and bursting the coil. So let's move this out of the way now and talk about reheat. Okay, so let's draw another air handler. Make our openings again, draw in our fan, and then put in our cooling coil. If you put the heating coil after the cooling coil in the reheat position, it serves a different function. You would use reheat if, for dehumidification, you have to cool the air down to a temperature that's too cold to supply to the space. So in this case, your outdoor air has high humidity. You need to cool it down to dehumidify it, but maybe now it's too cold to send to the space, and so you're going to use your reheat coil to bring it up a little bit so that you can supply it to the space for comfort. So let's put that up here. Reheat is when you warm up the air that's been cooled down for dehumidification. Okay, so that's reheat. Let's move that out of the way and let's talk about heating. Heating is when you need to warm up air to provide warm air to the space. So let's draw our air handler again our blower and our cooling coil. So in this case where you locate the coil isn't as important because you're just providing warmth to the space. It is all, it's often a good idea to put it in front of the heating coil just to get that extra protection in case cold air does, in case subfreezing air does come into your space. And you really only want to run one of these coils at a time because ASHRAE says you should not simultaneously heat and cool. So let's scoot this over and let's finally look at warm up. So warm up's basically like heating, but it's typically done when the building isn't occupied. Like maybe in the morning when it's been cold all night and you need to warm it up before the people come to work. So we'll draw our air handler again. Put our openings in, a blower, and our cooling coil. And again, since it's like heating, we'll just put our warm-up coil in front of our heating coil. And again, you would run just the heating coil till the warm building got up to a temperature you liked in the morning. And then you would go into control it however the building needs to be controlled. So let's bring all of these back on screen real quick so you can just kind of see all of them. And that's the difference between preheat, reheat, heating, and warm-up. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking a time out with us.